Birdie Boy, are you at least intrigued as to where this trilogy of Strangers movies can go? I know, I know we talked about the first movie. We didn't really love it. A lot of people didn't love it, but are you intrigued to see where it goes? At all? The Scarecrow? Oh! <laughs> Let's talk about it. No! What's going on, guys and gals? Welcome to Good Real Hunting. It's your boy Brad, the Brett Man's over there. Today, we're going to be talking to you guys about the new Strangers trilogy. We did a review for The Strangers Chapter 1. Go back and check that out. It came out last week. Of course, there's two other Strangers movies coming that they filmed with the first one. The second one's coming later this year, Birdie, the fall time. No, no specific release date, but it's going to be in the fall, probably around Halloween. Rumor is October. October. Uh. Nice and spooky. So the first movie, Chapter One, like we discussed, and we will be talking some spoilers today for the the Chapter One movie. So if you haven't seen it, come back after you see the movie. Or actually, who, honestly, who gives a shit if you've seen the original? <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you, they're not missing much. Yeah, if you've seen the original movie, you've seen the Strangers Chapter One. You just don't know it yet. But um, <laughs> they basically remade the uh, the the first movie with Chapter One. They set the ground for this new trilogy. So today we're going to be talking about kind of what we want to see out of these next two films and talk about whether or not this trilogy can be salvaged based on what we saw in that first movie, Birdie Boy. Okay. <clears throat> uh, can we uh, address the big elephant in the room with this? Uh, I hate to say this now. We have to officially call this movie a franchise now. We got to uh, do it. Because, yeah, we have no choice. Sorry. It shouldn't be a franchise, but it should only be two movies. But you know what? Here we are. But, Brad, can we address the big elephant in the room with this particular franchise, and especially Chapter 1? Hit it, Chewie. Unfortunately, this is the number one horror movie at the box office of 2024 right now. Isn't that crazy? Because we've had some, like the Omen, you know, the first Omen, Immaculate. Um, there's been a couple other ones, uh, Late Night with the Devil, or like you uh, you called it. What Lisa you, what Frankenstein, you call it? like yeah, even though dude. that movie has been criminally been underappreciated. I'm telling you, that movie's going to be a cult following, but we're not talking about that. But yeah, I'm pretty sure and... I could probably, I'm just spitting out numbers here, but the last I remember looking at that, I think this movie made around what, Brad, 11.3 over the yeah. weekend? Yep. Yeah. It was a good opening weekend, um, which is, <sighs> you know, it's crazy considering that uh, the word of mouth was awful for this movie. I think the word of mouth was worse than the movie actually is. I didn't think it was that bad. I didn't think it was as bad as people were saying. Well, but. I'll give them credit for one thing is uh, they did send those three masked individuals all over the place in the world and just uh, randomly freak people out for no reason. I would say that's pretty solid marketing, but like when it comes to like trailers or like clips or interviews and press, yeah, it's dog shit from a horse's ass. Yeah, well, Madeline uh, Petch or whatever her name is, I think she's done a good job with helping promote the film. Mm -hmm. and and whatnot and i you know i we, we didn't really talk about her too much in the review but i i thought she was pretty good like i like that was one mm -hmm. thing about the movie that i actually did kind of like was her character no i agree uh, uh mm -hmm. i i do like her uh she definitely showed kind of like the same level of emotion uh as Liv tyler did in the original definitely she's no Liv tyler but i think she could withheld her own especially with two more movies to go yeah so she's coming back they've already confirmed that the dude, um, you know, I, yeah, I, Ryan, like I said, spoilers turkey here. Turkey Club but, boy. Know, yeah, Turkey Club Meister. I don't know if that protein was enough to like get him beyond the realm of death after the end there. <laughs> he was definitely left for dead. And I don't think he was going to come back, but you never know. I mean, he could be flat. I mean, they could always do flashbacks and stuff, but um, I just don't see it. And I wouldn't really miss him too much. But Madeline, I would, you know, I think she can, you know, carry the trilogy for what it is. Mm -hmm. Um. So, you know, the first movie, like I said a minute ago, basically just reset the universe. It's basically rebooting everything, putting everything back to square one, and we can see how we go from there. Now, this movie, the first one, it had um, some vibes about it that kind of reminded me of, like, vacancy. You know, where they get to the hotel, and, like, everybody's kind of in cahoots, you know, like, you know, they're calling the cops and stuff like that, but the cops are kind of in on it, and there's the, the guy that's fixing cars, and he's in, like, everybody's in on it. And that's mm -hmm. the vibe I got from this town when we we're going through this little town of uh, of uh, Oregon, which is close enough, Bertie. It's close to, to where they, did. yeah, Venus. Yes, it, this this hey, it's close to where the fucking vampire movies were with Robert Pattinson. And um, along with the remainder of this mm -hmm. franchise, it could go right beside the visiting planet of Uranus. That's true. It could it could happen. 
Um, but I, you know, I got, you know, we got, we got introduced to a lot of townsfolk in the first movie. Richard Brake was there very, very briefly as like the sheriff or cop or whatever in the diner. Mm -hmm. And we know he's going to be coming back. Well, you're not just going to throw him in the first movie and he's not going to come back for like two seconds. I think, you know, there's a decent, he's always got to be in cahoots. I think he's going to come back and be in, I think I, it, this feels like very, like everybody's work, like the, like, like a cult kind of thing you know you have the kids like the jehovah's witness kids handing out flyers everybody's got these flyers and it seems like everybody's kind of putting things into motion to get people specifically to this airbnb it would seem to where they can just fuck them up um mm -hmm. and you know obviously you had the guys the garage guys across the street they probably broke the car so that the car could be oh you, you know. know they absolutely did yeah so all that stuff to me i think it's intriguing now is it as good as like say the first strangers where there's no motive and it was a very random event. No, but if you're going to make sequels to this and you're going to make this a trilogy, you have to expand it a little bit. You have to make it more. You can't just do the same thing. I just want to know why they're do like why they're helping these three people um, in the mask and all that. Like it's just, there has like, there's a story to be told there and I'm kind of interested, but if it's made pretty much of a tone as like this chapter one is, I'm not going to be that excited about it. But however, here is the good news. If there's any kind of good news with the rest of these two movies, they can't copy what they, they got nothing to copy off from. The teacher caught the student that's copying off the other smart kid's paper. Don't copy him. I'm sending you to this corner. You go think of your own original answers and ideas on how to solve these problems or answer this story. So this is the chance now for them to do something unique and different. I am intrigued to see what direction they're going to go with it. Um, again, I always prefer like the original movie because it's just the mm -hmm. most scary way to tell the story. But I love like Vacancy, you know, I love that movie. And I think this could be very similar <coughs> with those characters. But, you know, I feel like, you know, the, like at the diner, like uh, the chick that gave him a ride up to the cabin, that could be Dollface or that could be Pinup Girl. Like, you know, you that know, would be cool. I never thought about that before. So and now that you're starting very well to, could be. Yeah. Now you're starting to work it in, you know, that they're like, they're, it's not completely just random because they were at this house. They're putting them in the house, you know, mm -hmm. which is a little bit more psychological, I guess. I don't know. Is it? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe I just pulled that out my ass. I don't know. Well, but, here's the uh, other thing, too. Like, are they going to make the main girl, like, like, I guess, like, a duration they could go is have the main girl go after these three strangers or pretty much go after the town. But I really just don't see, it, like, exactly what she did in the first one. That makes me a big believer that she's going to do all this on her own. So that's why I'm possibly thinking maybe they can add a new couple to that cabin and she goes to that cabin to try to stop whatever's happening. I'll tell you what they are going to copy off of, though, is Halloween 2 with Laurie Strode all busted up in the hospital. And now. Oh, yeah, uh, because that end credits scene. Yeah, <laughs> but no, it could be, it could be, it could be like Halloween Kills, though, in all seriousness, where Madeline is kind of busted up in the hospital for most of the movie. She probably wake, we all know the end credit scene was probably a dream sequence, right? She's going to wake up, think that the dude's there, but he's not, you know, some, mm -hmm. some bullshit like that. Um, and, and she's all busted up in the hospital, the whole movie. And the second movie is going to be more like learning about the strangers, learning about the people, mm -hmm. you know, trying to get more of their backstory. Maybe they do introduce another couple or another person up at the cabin and, and we kind of see it through their eyes this time, which would actually be kind of cool to see it from them, their perspective, um, mm -hmm. putting everything in motion, you know, and then the third movie could be that epic, like finale. I say epic, but we're talking, you know, strangers <laughs> here um, between Madeline and the strangers where she kind of gets her redemption. I, that's kind of how I foresee it. I think it could work. It would be cool to see. I think it'd be kind of cool to because you got a, a group of killers where they could basically be the protagonist of the movie. And uh, for the second one, I mean, it wouldn't be scary per se, but it'd be cool. It'd be different, unique. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I mean, you got three movies to play around. You might as well do something different. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> dude. Uh, anything else? Uh, you uh, any predictions on these next two movies or any other thoughts? No, I just I hope to see Richard Brake really heavily involved. Um, think maybe like a like Arlie Ermy from Texas Chainsaw or something mm -hmm. like that, like the crooked cop that's kind of helping. You know, I think that could or be bring fun. back Damien Maffei. Yeah, you could do that as well. You could do that as well. Um, yeah, so I mean, I think that'd be cool. So yeah, you mentioned it. They call him the Scarecrow now, but I know I know you don't like it. I know you don't like it, but I think maybe. It's just because they're making their own identity of these movies. I who knows? I because don't. If you're think... gonna copy, if you're gonna copy 
you take the title of the man in the mask. You don't fucking change it. There's like you could sure there's changing like change the setting, change the type of characters you got. Great. However, if you are going to legit copy such a popular movie that traditional horror fans like, you don't. There's some things you just don't change. The man in the mask. You don't change that name like that. To me, that's bullshit. And from our movie review, I have moved down this movie from a two out of five to a one point five out of five. Now. <laughs> I uh, I really don't mind that. I don't, I really don't mind them creating their own world and given you know adding something to the mythology like you know maybe that's the name that is you know maybe will there be some backstory to it i don't know but that doesn't bother me because the man of the mask it's not he's not like an iconic figure like he's you know he's decent like he's solid people recognize him or maybe they'll mix him up with jason from part two like you know i don't know he's not like this <laughs> icon though he's not like so you you can you can i in my opinion you can change things around you can make him more icon. i think giving him an actual name makes him a little bit more intriguing i think but <clears throat> I digress. I get, you know, if you're attached to the character, especially like you pray at night fan, you'd be attached to the character and, and that could be upsetting. But so um, are the ever two characters is pinup girl. Now fish are going to be uh, the cavalry lion. And it's uh, the other one. Dollface going to be a uh, tin can. Well, you know, I don't know. Are they going to go that. on a yellow brick road? Like, oh, we're off to see the strangers, the strangers see, of Phoenix Oregon. Like, they already had, they already had cool names. Um, the man in the mask is just kind of a, that's something you name somebody who doesn't have a name. You know, that's, but that's like, more scary. I mean, is it though? I mean, it's like, Hey, the man behind the mask, <laughs> man, you got any other thoughts or anything? Like I, Nope. More... I am. I have been done with this particular topic like five minutes ago because fuck <laughs> this. <laughs> all right. Well, fair enough. Fuck it all. Uh, no, but nonetheless, no, okay, of all seriousness, I am interested with the next two. And uh, you know what? Don't mark it until you watch it. That's what I always say. And so does Jeff. Who I don't know why I'm doing this. We're not I, ready for I, that. I'm just, yeah, we're absolutely not. Because, Brad, you forgot to ask the people that are watching or listening right now of what do they think about the feature of the Strangers uh, trilogy? Or if even at this point of franchise, are you excited about the feature? Or are you telling this feature to go dig its own grave and fuck off let us know in the comic session down below let's get that discussion rolling and of course uh after getting so heated by the topic uh, do you know what calms me down it's not ordering a brand new t-shirt from uh good Real hunting on spread man yeah spread shop man it's down there in the description check it out and if you want to help us find the good reels you can find all of our links to our, uh to our socials right down there in the description absolutely <laughs> until then brad uh i am been hearing some uh, noises outside like knocking and all that so i'm gonna check that out so if i don't see you for the next one you know where i am but i do plan on seeing you and everybody else for the next one peace out so tell tamara i said hello uh please now no!